More fallout from COVID-19. For months, victims of domestic violence have been stuck inside with their abusers. But now police say with the city opening up, officers are able to go back to home visits and check on victims. They're knocking on the doors, they're talking to our victims in person, reassuring them that there is hope, there is help for them, and we put them in the direction of some good answers. Chief Kathleen White, head of the NYPD's Domestic Violence Unit, tells PIX11 outreach is important. It's the chief's mission professionally to get help for victims, but she also knows firsthand. You'd be amazed at how many officers on this job, and especially our DBOs, have been victims in the past, whether it's domestic violence, whether it's stalking, myself included in that one. And you know what? We're here to say, listen, if we got help and look at us, you can get help too. But for some victims, that first step to get help is not easy. I've been in situations where, you know, I called the police for help and then my attacker is like released within a few hours or the next day and he's able to come back and, you know, even worse. Even police officers know domestic violence is one of the most dangerous calls they respond to. Four years ago, Sergeant Paul Tuzolo died in a hail of bullets in the Bronx. And a few weeks ago in Queens... Officers responding to a domestic job where they were actually fired upon. We have to remember tactics. We have to know what's going on in those households when we answer those calls. During the peak of the pandemic, police say domestic violence went underreported and victims stayed in the dark. But luckily now light is being shed, including this purple patrol car. It's the NYPD's way to go everywhere at any time. It's a conversation starter. When you see this vehicle driving up, you can't help but say, wow, what is that car? What is that car all about? It's all about letting victims know they are not alone and getting help can be simple. We are concealing the identity of the victim there in the piece. She says sometimes it is difficult to call 911. The chief says if that is the case, you can always text or send a message to a neighbor to get help. If you need help, if you're a victim of domestic violence, you can also go to our website at pix11.com. We have some resource information there for you. In Lower Manhattan, Nicole Johnson, Pix11 News.